Good morning, everybody. Good morning, grandmas. This is Just Sales, the video where I go over Just Sales. We can all speculate, but when it comes down to it, what actually sold is what actually people care about. Did it sit in your closet for a year? Did it stay on the shelf for five months? I don't know. Sold Super Mario RPG. The Legend of the Seven Stars. And she sold for $47, going to Texas. Sold this Logitech portable touchpad. It's kind of like the magic pad of Logitech. I don't believe they make it anymore. Uh, had it up a while for 100, didn't have any action there. Finally just put the store on sale, 50% off, sold it for 50 bucks. That was a pretty good find. I got this for a couple dollars and I synced it to a a uh, unifying receiver. This did not do as well as I thought it would. Got it for like two bucks in Austin. It sold once for $30. The guy never paid. I relisted it for 25 and it got no action on that. I did a half off. Finally, it sold for like 12.50. It does hold a charge. It's an older model, but it's still like a modern one. I, I thought this was honestly gonna do at least 20 to $30. This is like a trombone. Sold this BMO toy for like six bucks. Going to Oregon. Sold these Yakima big powder hounds without any mounting. And these are actually broken. Lock is cracked on both of them, which kind of renders the locking mechanism useless. Put them on sale in my store, sold them for 25 bucks shipped. I sold a boot looped Nexus 5X for like 20 something bucks. Trombone, bought the phone for over a hundred, used it for a bit boot looped and now I'm getting like $20 back out of it. The next item, we pre-boxed it after I listed it. It's a Motorola router. This router right here. Bought it from a thrift for myself to actually use. Uh, never had an apartment, just been freeloading from my mom and from Rachel. So never had to use it, listed it. Probably should have commanded like 50 bucks at least. I had it at 68, 50% off. Sold it for 34 bucks. I highly recommend anyone to, to own your router instead of renting it because it could save you like five to ten dollars a month. You can find Doxus 3.0 routers at the thrift and then they're compatible with like most carriers and you'll never have to rent a router. Why rent it when you can own it from a thrift? Haven't sold anything on Etsy in a while until last night. Sold three things last night. This awesome University of New Mexico Lobos crew neck sweatshirt. Miller gold size large. It's got a pretty sweet wolf on it. And then it's got the uh, the paw prints on the sleeve. That sold for $39. And take a guess, it's going to New Mexico. And this green full zip light jacket by yours truly, Patagonia. Uh, sold for 49 bucks. I found a couple of these light jackets. I usually get about 50 bucks for them. So that was good. Last and definitely least, is this Sir Pendleton, sold for $22, going to a hipster, probably. It's a Yakima part, sold for $13.98, going to Connecticut. So many packages. Sold some more Yakima Aero, I think they're T10s mounts. Got 29 last time I sold these. This one sold for 22, because I put my store on sale. Sold within a day of putting the store on sale. And this was my Yakima fairing from my roof racks that I've used at one point. I had it in the garage, figured I'd list it. I don't think they make this anymore for the round bars. So I listed it up, sold for 50 or 60 bucks. Sold this left side Yakima cover for about $14 and it's going back to Austin, Texas where I bought it from. The Bontrager rear bicycle pack slash panniers. This is actually a really cool bag. It goes on to a certain type of rack that I don't have, so I figured I was going to sell it. I only listed it a couple days ago for 89, put my store on sale. It sold for 62, going to Colorado. Picked up these vintage Maui Gym Aviator sunglasses while I was visiting Ethan in LA. I paid $30 for them. Had them listed for 100 and they just sold for 69 with my store on sale. These are the type of items that I'm trying to get more into, the $50 plus items. I think I'm gonna race Chris, the Bonafide Hustler, to uh, 100 items in the store with $50 or more items. Basically to get rid of a lot of smalls and to focus more on things that you, we can sell for more than 50 bucks, like vintage made in Yugoslavia, Adidas shoes, like really cool things, like Patagonia bag, Timbuktu bag, certain tennis rackets that are worth 50 bucks. At the last meetup I talked to him and we had this like idea of just 200 item store, $50 plus, 
of like fun thrifted items that we like personally are excited about. We both think that's kind of like a good model for us right now because you don't need a ton of storage. It's like good items and it's you're excited about them. Like you're just pumped about finding them. You're pumped about talking about them. You're pumped about shipping them to a person that can use them. So I think that's kind of where we're experimenting with is getting that 200 item store, making about two to four grand a month on that store, getting that average sale price up over $50. This itty bitty Yakima part. I don't sell a lot of these, but it sold for $7 just for this little guy. And this EPC, actually, I bought it off of my little brother, Martin. He bought it new when he was a freshman at USF. He dropped it off of the second story bunk bed or whatever onto the floor, cracked it. He needed some money, so I bought it off of him. Uh, I bought it for $170. It's been sitting on a shelf for like six or seven years. It's outdated. I just sold it on eBay for $21. That's a trombone. And I just sold another Dr. Mario for $10. This was a loss in the Amiibo crash. Bought these Axiom uh, bicycle panniers and listed them, sold them for 20 bucks. Had some damages to them, some, uh, some mounting issues. And this one had some, had some fabric was riding next to a wall and had some scratches or, or crashed their bike or something on the road. Um, sold for 20 bucks. I think I broke even on these and did not even get to use them, make any money on them. They were Seymour DLX 30 panniers. Sold another pair of these weightlifting gloves for $11 this time. Packages! Packages. Actually, this is how we did the uh, the fairing. We wrapped it up in one of those California garbage bags that I picked up in California and just wrapped it up. And that thing is good to go. It was only $6 to ship. It's going to Alabama or Mississippi. Some one of the closer states to Florida. Sold this Guitar Hero guitar on eBay of all places. The whammy bar was kind of limp. Sold for 37 bucks with the game. Sold the Mountain Smith travel trunk size medium duffel bag that I picked up like a couple of days ago. Just listed it about three days ago. It sold for 27 bucks. And this thing sold from the box wall. And I opened it up just for everybody on YouTube. Dreamcast in box with these three games, three sports games, and two box controllers, all the cords tested. It works fine, sold for 120 something dollars. Pulled it out of my personal collection, found it at a Goodwill for $14.99 years and years and years ago. But it sold pretty quick. Oh yeah, and it's only going to Miami, so it's gonna be pretty cheap for me to ship. Sold another pair of these lifting gloves for $11. Sold this Mammoth jacket. Mammoth, Mammoth, Mammoth. It's got the weather stripping zippers. And it actually had some damages to it. Um, had a rip there. Of course, I showed all that in the listing. Knew the jacket's like 200 and something bucks. I was going to keep it myself. It is my size, but I sold it for $38 shipped. Sold this set of black diamond hiking poles. Going to Virginia, sold for $48. Black diamond. Picked these up for, I think, less than $10 at a thrift. Was gonna use them myself, but it never did. So I'm gonna sell them. Sold this beautiful vintage Jan Sport duffel. It's got the it's got the seatbelt strap material. It has some nice leather pieces on it. Uh, it's not very big, but it was in really really good shape. Probably from the 80s. It sold for $45. Shipped. Had this in my closet for a couple years. I'm a sucker for bags. Sold these Patagonia Wayfarer shorts. Uh, size 34. Sold for $27. Shipped. He sold a vintage, very cool Ruger uh, snapback. Made in the USA by Graffiti, Cleveland, Ohio. Sold for 35 bucks on Etsy. Sold dot hack infection complete in the box with the DVD and everything. Uh, really good condition. Sold it for 20 bucks. This is the first installment. It's not worth a whole lot. It's about 20, $25 game. Sold the most roached out Super Nintendo you've ever seen. Every single corner is dinged, dinged, dinged. All of the screws. Let me show you. It's roached out. The, the screw holes were broken. Screw holes broken, it's supposed to look like that. Uh, but it does work. Everything on it works. Sold this for 
30 bucks. And that was just sales, everything that had sold over the last week or so. Not every week is the same, so take that with a grain of salt. But I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you learned something. If you haven't already, give the video a thumbs up. And if you have any encouraging comments, I would love to hear them or any amazing sales yourself to share. Thanks for watching, and I will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye.